Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing good. Today again we are back with the chapter Tick, Tick, Tick and today's topic is Multiple Choice Questions. Here come the first one. The first one is how long will it take the minute hand to move from 3.35 p.m. to 3.50 p.m. So the question is how long will the minute hand take to move from 3.35 p.m. to 3.50 p.m. There are three options for you and you have to take the correct option. Okay. Next is where the hands will be. 20 minutes after 6 o'clock. So, where the hands of the clock will be after 6 o'clock. 20 minutes after 6 o'clock. So, the, here the options are 540, 610 and 620. You have to tick the correct option. Next three number is the minute hand started from 2. How many minutes will it take? To come back to 2 again. So, if the minute hand starts from 2, how much time will it take to come back to 2 again? Here the options for you 30 minutes, 60 minutes and 90 minutes. You have to take the correct option. Okay, so here the fourth number. How long will the hour hand take to move from one number to the next? So, how long will the hour hand will take? To move from one number to the next. So here the options are one hour, half an hour and two hour. You have to tick the correct option. Next is how long does a football match take? Okay. So I think you all have seen football match. So you have to write without any disturbance. What is the time a football match take to finish? Okay. Here the options are 30 minutes, 60 minutes and 90 minutes. And number six, which date this stand for 556? So which date it stand for? April 2006, May 2006. And May 2005, you have to pick the correct option. So, these are the six questions. We will go to the next page. But, but before that, to take the questions, pause the video here and take a screenshot. Here comes the next page for question number 7. Write this date in number 1 June 2006. If we will write the date in number, then from the options given here, you have to tick the correct options. Okay, next time by your watch is 3.30 in the afternoon. How can we write this time by a 24 hours clock? So 3.30 in the afternoon. If you write this into 24 hours format, what will be your answer? You have to tick the correct option from the three given options. In sum number 9, suppose a train leaves at 8.30 at 9, the time written on the railway ticket would be 19.30 hours, 20.30 hours or 21.30 hours. So, 8.30 at night, what will be the correct answer? 35 minutes after 2.15 p.m. is what time from the given time? options you have to tick the correct option next sum number 11 is calculate the number of days between june 12 and june 21 so between june 12 and june 21 you have to see how many dates are there options are seven days eight days and nine days so next sum for sum number 12 the, um, the question is 12 hours is dash of a day. So 12 hours is dash of a day. You have to tick the correct option among the given options or quarter, half or three fourth. So which will be the correct option? So for the next questions, you have to pause the video here and you will take a screenshot and then we will go to the next page. Now again back to the sum number 13. In our school lunch break starts at 12.20 p.m. and ends at 1.10 p.m. How long does the lunch break last? So there are three options. You have to choose the correct option.
Next is music class starts at 2.30 p.m. and ends at 4.20 p.m. How long does the music class last? You have to take the correct option. And last question is question number 15 where to find whether a particular year is leap year or not we have to divide the year by 5 6 or 4 so these are the 15 questions that you have to do and to do these questions what you have to do you have to pause the video every part and you have to take a screenshot and after that you will write down the questions in your mass copy and you will do the correct option or you will take the correct options okay students thank you